Hi Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. In today's video, we're going to do another troubleshooting lab, uh, very imaginatively named Troubleshooting Lab 2. Uh, since everyone really enjoyed the last one, what I'm going to do is bring up, a, uh, bring up a live rack of equipment here very shortly, in about 30 seconds. And I'm going to show you a practice exam question as well. We're going to tackle that, but we're really going beyond the, just the question. So if you know the answer to the question right away, stick around because we're actually going to be doing this connection that we are discussing today from the very beginning because there is a classic gotcha that I want you to be very well aware of. Let's take a look at the question first. Like I said, we're going to do it a little differently on the live equipment here. But you're configuring to a Cisco router via Telnet. And the config on that router has the login and password commands figured and no others. You know the VTY password. What is the end result going to be? Will you be unable to authenticate and nothing else happens? Will you be able to authenticate and not enter enable mode? Will you be able to authenticate and configure the router and do whatever you need to do? Or will you be unable to authenticate and an SNMP trap will be triggered? Now what I've done in this particular lab is started from the very beginning on the router that we're telnetting to. So the login and password commands have not yet been configured because I want to show you exactly what that looks like. So again, we're going to, definitely going to be re revisiting that question, but there's something here I want you to see as well. Now from router 1 here, we're going to be telnetting to router 3 which is at 172.12.123.3. And the first thing I always do before I telnet to a device is I always ping it to begin with. And that, of course, is a good thing to do. If you try a telnet of an address and it just hangs, you know, you don't see any messages for a couple of seconds or even up to a minute, then you may just not have connectivity to it. But we know we have connectivity to 172.12.123.3. So by golly, let's go ahead and tilt it to it. And we get a message. It's a little confounding, especially the first time you see it, because it confused me the first time I saw it many years ago. When you get the open message, you know, like it sounds like it's good, but then you get this password required but none set. And it doesn't tell you, of course, what password we're referring to. And we've got a couple of enable passwords we could set. We got a line password. We got all kinds of passwords we could set. Well, what this is actually referring to is the VTY line password, the actual Telnet password itself. Because it would be a very bad thing if all of our Cisco routers were enabled for Telnet by default. Uh, and there was one password. I don't think that would go over terribly well in today's world, or frankly in any world. So what we're going to do is go over to router 3. Let me see if I've opened the connection to that one yet. Yep, okay. So we're on router 3. This is the one we're telnetting to. And I do have some configs on here from our previous lab, but the key is down here. Under line VTY04, I've got login, and that's it. So no password has been set for that. So I'm going to go ahead and set one here. And remember, it's line VTY0 space 4 if you're on a Cisco router and you want to apply the password to all five lines because that's how many we have. That's another good thing to keep in mind. I tend to put login there anyway. And I am glad that happened. I'll put CCNA in uppercase. Because what I wanted to show you, whenever you enable login and you haven't set the password yet, you're going to get this message. And the first time you see it, it can really panic you. And I've seen a lot of discussion about it over the years. People say, oh man, you know, I disabled the login because I used the login command before the password command. All this is saying is that you, no one can log in until a password is set. And we just saw that in action anyway. But that's all this message is. You're going to see it five times, one for each line. So don't let it throw you. That's exactly what we expect to see. It does not matter in which order you put the login and password commands on the VTY lines. It does not matter. I don't care what you read from some anonymous guy on the internet somewhere who tells you otherwise. It simply does not matter. Now let's go back over to router 1 because this is really where the question came in. And let's go back to the question itself. Which one of these four things is going to happen at this point? Because we know the login and password commands are configured on the VTY lines. And see, it's even making sure that we know, the question is making sure we know that that is what the Telnet password actually is, the VTY lines. So, uh, VTY password, that is. So let's go ahead and try that Telnet again and see what happens. And now we are being prompted for a password. 
which is much different than what was happening last time because no password was set. Now notice that when I entered the password, it did not appear on the screen. Uh, it, you don't get any asterisk, you don't see the cursor move, anything like that. That is a default setting. And now we're in router 3, but we're in user exec, right? And to do anything really, we need to be in enable mode. So when I type enable here, that's what I get. And this did happen to me one morning, early in my, uh, two in the morning actually, uh, early on in my career, you know, I set the VTY password to a router that I need to get into to do some maintenance on at 2 a.m., that kind of thing. We've all been there. And, you know, I was so smart. And I was like, yes, I remember to set the VTY password. Well, I forgot about this little bit. Uh, so we've got a couple of ways to handle that. And, of course, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and exit out of Router 3 and just terminate that uh, Telnet connection. Now, on Router 3, we've got to do something about this situation. So the answer to the question here would actually be you'd be able to authenticate but not enter enable mode. And in user exec, you know, there's not much we can do. If we need to configure the router, we've got to get into enable mode. You have a couple of different options there. Let's go over to Router 3 uh, and take a look. Now, what we could do here is set an enable password or an enable secret. Uh, but what we could do instead, if we wanted people to telnet in and automatically be put into enable mode, is put the privilege level 15 command on the VTY lines. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And you've got 0 through 15. We're going to set it for 15 for all of them and go from there. Now again, I could have set an enable password. I'll probably actually make another video just reminding you how to, not that you don't know how to set an enable password, but show you what it looks like. But in this one, let me go back over to router 1 and now we'll try our telnet again. And we're prompted for a password. And notice the huge difference in the prompt. One little character means a world of difference. Because earlier, I was being put into user exec when I telneted in. And when I typed enable, you know, I couldn't get into enable mode because we hadn't set an enable password. So instead of setting an enable password, I put privilege level 15 on the VTY lines. And then when I successfully logged in with the VTY password, I was put into enable mode. Can't beat that. It is a good thing to know for your exams. And I'll make another video too and just show you the different password prompts that you're going to get uh, for that other Telnet connection if you put the enable passwords on. I appreciate you watching today's video. And let's see, I wanted you to, to come out and join me on Twitter and on YouTube and on Facebook as well. We're passing 6,000 subscribers on YouTube as I speak. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Bryant, and thanks for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.